Hey guys, this is KSP with Tape, and today you join me with episode 17 of KSP in New World. Although it's not really episode 17, it's kind of half an episode, because a few things kind of go wrong in a bit. So that's why it's shorter, because something goes wrong. Um, but I thought I'd just include the footage, because, you know, there's some good stuff-ish. Um, and uh, then explain what's going wrong later, and, you know, my basic solution. Which shouldn't be too drastic, and it should just be back next week. Um, but yeah, that's why this is half an episode. But anyway, we start off doing our usual, going to the moon. Um, well, we go to somewhere in the Kerbal system. But yeah, we're going to the moon, and uh, we're going to do the final part of the taking EVA reports around the poles of um, the moon, which has kind of bested us before. But I've actually put this on a much more powerful rocket, mainly so I get a little more Delta V, and partly because this is my... Um, well, this is my new rocket, the one I've kind of been testing for reusability, so I want to see its el eligibility for an actual to be an actual launch vehicle. And I know it works, because I've used it um, before in Solar Civilization, although it is slightly different. But yeah, it is basically my vehicle that might be usable as a reusable vehicle, because, well, those engines are small enough to house landing legs and stuff. It, it's just quite a good... it's a candidate for basically being like Falcon 9, is what I'm trying to say. But anyway, um... Yeah, now we break away, and this is our second stage cruising into orbit. Um, hopefully one day we'll manage to um, return that uh, that stage behind us and just fly it back to the ocean, maybe even a barge on the ocean. Although I imagine that would be very, very difficult, and would take a long time to get the barge out there, and would be very difficult to hit, and uh, might be a little overcomplicated. But yeah, um, so uh, we're just going to well extend our solar panels so we don't freeze to death. And then we're actually in a pretty good position for just going straight to the moon, so that's what we will do. Just perform our burn, um, go straight to the moon, and uh, go and scoop up the last bit of science, because this mission's been going on for ages. I've just never finished it. Um, anyway, we detached that, and this is actually an updated lander. It has um, more fuel, bigger landing legs, all of that. Um, so it's just a little better for landing on the moon. It has a, yeah, well, just a little better. It has more fuel, so we won't get stuck, hopefully. Um... But yeah, anyway, just bringing our periaps down and then just uh, cutting ahead to um, doing our plane change because, you know, you, you don't have to see me warp through an orbit all the time. So I just edited this quite a bit, especially since it's um, kind of half an ep episode. I've edited it slightly differently to how I usually do. But anyway, we've got ourselves a nice trajectory and uh, now skipping ahead again to uh, circularizing our orbit and, well, getting into orbit and... Uh, We've got to take these two reports. We actually have to fly through them. So I'm going to uh, take one while in orbit and one while, one while landing. Um, because I'm going to land so that I can... Uh... What is that noise outside of my house? Something incredibly loud and annoying. I'm sorry if that gets into the audio. Um, but yeah, so I need to fly over one, which I'll do now. And uh, take my... Because this, I've got to take this report above 11,500... Uh, meters and the other one below like 7200 which is super annoying because that's like really low down um so i've got to really pinpoint my landing which isn't well it's not that hard to do um well this isn't because it's actually a bit of a i can land just as long as i pass through roughly the right space it's fine so i don't have to land that accurately just reasonably accurately and that's difficult because i'm really not very good at landing but anyway i'm cutting ahead to that after a, well no we've got to deorbit um first so we'll uh, just deorbit ourselves um, such that our periapsis is nicely uh, embedded in the moon, but we have a bit of a uh, bit of leeway to slow down in. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's uh, just skip ahead, I guess. Um, oh yeah, I am about to skip ahead. I was a little little later than I thought it would be, but anyway, I just cut through. There's a lot of slowing down, basically, and that's just firing my engine retrograde, as I'm sure you can guess. But anyway, we're about to come into where we can take our report and uh, fetch our data, um, which is about here. Uh, Yes, crew report. Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, so we did no science, but we did complete the mission. So this is all paid for um, quite a bit, actually. We got uh, about, I think, total maybe 130,000. And then just skipping ahead to our decently okay, not really, I fell over touchdown. Uh, <laughs> you could see I touched down a little too hard because I didn't have quite enough fuel because this can this can do a moon mission, but I had to do too many maneuvers, really. I had to put myself on the right, you know, trajectory and fly under a specific space. It's only really made for landing on the uh, landing pretty inaccurately on the equator. Um, and I landed annoyingly accurately with multiple plane changes on the poles. So that's really not what this is designed for. I can go anywhere on Minmus, but not really that much on the moon. So I'm going to design something new because, um, well, this has kind of failed me twice because I had to actually put a bit of fuel from uh, the ascent stage into the descent stage. 
And not that much, but enough to be worrying. Um, but anyway, I took a, some scientific reports uh, and got stuck in the uh, spacecraft for a bit, but I just uh, got all the data, did my usual, and then obviously plant a flag, because uh, you always plant a flag when you go places. Um, well, my NASA flag, not my Year America flag. Um, although I don't really know the name of the country that we're in on Kerbal, uh, Kerbin. Although there's only like 20 Kerbals <laughs> in the whole world, so I'm sure... Uh, um, well, uh, and our contract people, so I'm sure it's not a problem. Um, doing a bit of a moonwalk there, it appears. I was kind of debating whether the, where I should put my flag, because I'm going to have to do a bit of a floor maneuver to get out of this. Um, but yeah, let's just throw it down, I guess. Uh, and put some meaningful message, which I'll skip through me typing, because that's usually painfully slow. So I put Midlands Landing, Horizon 6, Milbury Kerman, Ronnie Kerman, and the other Kerman, because I forgot his name. Um, I was going to say, or her name, but it's not her, because this is still point ninety. hopefully not for long. Um, but yeah, anyway, so uh, now it's just a matter of, um, well, ditching that lower stage and uh, rolling my way into a position in which I can escape. That's uh, why I ditched that, because this is quite easily rollable and um, quite easily flippable, so I can get this right, uh, well, pointing upwards is basically what I need it to do at this point. Um, so just roll back, roll back onto your engine. Come on, come on, Milbury, you've done many a crazy thing. And now take off. There we go. Anyway, let's uh, let's go to space. Um, let's go back to orbit and uh, hopefully back to Kerbin, hopefully. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I am a little worried. I'm a little low on fuel. Um, and this path I took, this ascent path, was a bit dumb. I went really flat. Usually you're supposed to really go up a bit and then sideways. But I went really, really flat because... Well, I just need to be go. I don't need to be go. I don't really need to be very high above the moon. But you can see, eventually, I kind of don't have the thrust to weight ratio to keep myself not in the surface of the moon. So I have to burn upwards quite furiously. But uh, it's not too much of a problem uh, compared to the other problems in this episode. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, we'll get onto that in a bit. Um, but yeah, this actually performed quite well. It got itself to orbit quite nicely. I do very much like the spacecraft. I just think I need a slightly bigger one for the moon because it's kind of pointless designing... I could use a smaller one for Minmus and a bigger one for the moon because this is just kind of a middle ground. And it's I do like vehicles I can use just lots because I'm that sort of person. Um, but yeah, I think the moon and Minmus are just very different bodies. And this is great for exploring Minmus. It can do loads of jumps, but yeah. Anyway, on my attempt to go home, as we kind of jump cut there, as you might not have seen, because it wasn't very well jump cut. But anyway, we yeah, we cut ahead, and now it's um, just a matter of going home. But we uh, we burn out a little early. I uh, clearly used a little too much fuel. Um, well, a lot too much fuel. Or maybe I just never packed enough. I mean, has this ever gotten home from the moon? Have I ever actually tried that? Have I ever actually got that far? I think I may have once, but uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, it burns out, so that sucks. So, rescue mission. This is pretty cheap uh, on one of my old Python 1.1 vehicles. Um, and, uh, yeah, so uh, we'll, uh, we'll just go through it. This is just a basically fuel and a grabber arm, so I can go to the moon. And I'm just going to cut through most of this because it's straight up just a launch. Um, so, yeah, it was an uh, inconvenience, and that's why I need to design a new vehicle, really. But this wasn't that expensive, so I'm not too bummed. And considering it's not as bad as that time, I lost all those gobbles. Oh, God, Jeb, I still think about you. Anyway, um, <laughs> it doesn't haunt me. Um... <laughs> No, I'm I'm totally over it. But anyway, yeah, it was just my standard maneuvers. So this is me moving in. I forgot RCS, but that's not a problem because I just can use my engine to move in. But yeah, it was just another fairly standard burn towards the moon, go to the moon, circular in the moon, get an encounter, and then just uh, stick my claws, pierce through the uh, command capsule, letting all the oxygen out, killing my kerbals. No, of course, that's not how the game works. I can just grab it, and that counts as a docking port. Um, so yeah, this is just my solution, because I'm not losing kerbals. Not losing any more kerbals. That's not going on. That's not happening. Um, but anyway, so yeah, we'll just uh, throw a bunch of fuel into there so we can get home. I actually brought way more than I needed, but it's better to bring too much than too little, as I've discovered many a time. But anyway, that took enough time. Um, so I'd just skip ahead to getting my encounter with, well, my encounter with the atmosphere of Kerbin, I guess, coming back home for the summer. Um... And this is where the problem started to happen. So basically, um, I did my standard, you know, descent. Re I, I did it like this because I was in a really awful position. But yeah, just basically retrograde burn, go back to Kerbin. However, for some reason, whenever I touch the atmosphere, 
it crashes the game. So that's annoying. Um, I'm going to try and work around it, but uh, I will fix it. No, I'm not letting this die. This is That's not happening. I haven't even been near lathe yet. I'm not... Just... No. Considering Solar Civilization died in the pretty much a similar way, I'm not letting that happen again. So yeah, basically what I'm going to do is... I'm actually going to try and port this to 1.0. I'm really close to getting to it to work with 1.0. So, that's fine. I might have to lose a few parts and maybe have to kind of cheat myself a few parts because they rearrange the tech tree um, and just basically figure it out and I'm probably going to have to just design all new spacecraft. But that's fine. That's even more fun for me. Um, so, yeah. I uh, That's why this is a half episode because it just crashed so much that I didn't have time to fix it when I was recording because I'm pretty busy right now with... Uh, <laughs> With trying to get A-levels, um, get uh, into university, so that's most of my time. But uh, yeah, that's why this is a shorter episode. But yeah, I will fix this. Um, maybe I'll keep it in point ninety, but probably not, because it's just really problematic, and I really want to be on 1.0. So I'm just going to... all. I've almost ported it over anyway, so it's just a matter of um, moving a few parts around, building a bunch of new spacecraft, letting go of my old designs... That sort of thing. So yeah, um, I hope you have enjoyed this. I hope you're not too upset that it's only a half episode. I know your life will be empty now. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I hope you will join me for when I do update this and fix it, which will hopefully be next week, or maybe I'll take a week off while porting it, although it shouldn't take that long, but I am pretty busy anyway, so we'll see. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been KSP with Tape. I will see you next time. <laughs>